Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to be covering a simple coding language in which we use blocks in only 10 minutes. This coding language's name is Scratch. Today, we are going to be creating an account and joining Scratch, making a game, and also, in the next episode, we are going to be publishing this game on Scratch for others to see. So, let's get started. Step by step, starter's guide on how to make a game in Scratch. And if this is your first time coding, you're in luck. Because this is going to be a whole walkthrough from making an account from publishing your game. So, let's get started. First of all, go to scratch.mit.edu and look at your right hand upper corner you'll see the sign in button and the join in scratch for you it might be just join in scratch because i've already made an account i want to click join in scratch okay now you can give you yourself a username so you can give any username but it should not be used by any other person so i'm going to give you want to keep this account so i'm going to blur this out for you guys just keep your password and to verify it just write your password down again so yeah okay now click next now you have to select a country where you live in and you'll also have this pop-up that will say save your password you can go ahead and click save so it's extra secure and you don't lose this account and select a country as I live in India, I'm going to start India. Next. Now you can give the month and the year where you're born in. So I'm going to put that. Okay. I'll click next. Now you can select your uh, gender. Or you can also say prefer not say. But I'm going to select my gender as female. And next you can give you a email address or anything. So you can give your email address. I'll have to blur this out for you guys. So yeah. Now click create your account so now after that click get started and now you're actually done with creating your account now what you can do you have to go like you can click this off and simply click the create button right next to the scratch logo okay so let's get started i'm going to give you a quick tour of this area so yeah this is where you're going to be coding your game and making it or testing it and doing everything you have i'm actually rushing this up because i have to finish it in one video you can go and see my starter series for all of these things in detail but right now i'm going to just give you a quick tour so right over here we have the stage in the stage we have a little cat which is a sprite if you don't know what a sprite is a sprite is a computer image that we give commands to to do certain things on the stage the stage is going to be the main area where we are going to test our game or even play it so the sprite that is displayed by scratch is sprite one you can rename this if you like i'm going to name it star okay now what you can do is that you can go and change the sprite by going into this costume tab right over here and clicking this little cost choose a costume you can just go and search star right over here i'm going to search in star you can use any star you want you can use the sun you can use the starfish you can use anything you can even choose anything you can choose an animal you can choose like anything you want to click anything that you want to use in this game so i'm going to actually use the star and delete all the other costumes okay now click back on the code tab and let's get started with coding so we have three types of blocks in this game in scratch so the first one is hat blocks which actually start a script a script is where you give commands 
making the script. The script is just like a real life script that actors follow. So let's take this cat sprite or the star sprite as the actor and let's make our script. So first of all, go to the block palette and go to events. Over here, you might see lots of hat blocks. Again, a hat block is a block that starts the code. Here, you can see the one green flag click. You can see something very similar right over here above the backdrop. It's just like this, which is a flag. The green flag is just like a race flag. When you click on it, it makes the game stop. So, right over here, if you read this block, when the green flag is clicked, then after that, you can add anything. So, I'm gonna add a block called say hello in the looks section in the color palette now you can say when you click the green flag it says hello for two seconds okay that's how a script works so now you have made your first script now let's actually start coding we'll add one more and we'll name this click on me click on me to earn a point a point okay now that you have done that you can go and click the green flag again hello click on me to earn a point okay now let's actually start coding go on a forever loop If you don't know what a forever loop is, is a block in the control section that is just like a loop where it goes round and round forever. Whatever you put inside this loop is going to work in the game for at least forever. Now we're going to click this right under the click on me to earn a point. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to say forever if, if we don't know what's an if statement, the if right over here and the then there's a little star or any diamond block in between it here you can display blocks so if that happens then it's just trying to say if something happens what will happen after it so i'm gonna put this plop this in the forever loop so it's always making sure if it's happening or not i'm gonna go in the sensing section and say if touching mouse pointer and mouse down and we're gonna go to the operators and get out a and this means if you're touching the mouse pointer and the mouse is down or is clicking the star what will happen so we have to put something inside this smaller loop okay so what we're gonna put inside this we're gonna go to the motion section and we'll say go to random position right over here now when i click on it we're gonna click on it and it's now it's gonna go to a, a random position now that we've done that let's go and start coding on how to get some points let's go to the variables and add or make a variable a variable is something that stores data suppose like a score variable or maybe like how many things you got is something that stores things so i'm going to click make a variable and name this score and then if you see this tick mark on it it means it's showing now you can say change my variable by one and set my variable to zero now you can change these to score and change this to score two so now let's read out this script when game flag set score to zero so when the game flag is clicked you're going to set the score to zero then say hello then say click on me and then start the forever loop so the forever loop is checking if it's touching the mouse pointer and mouse down if 
go to random position and change score by one if it's touching it. So now let's start this game, but right before we add a backdrop. To do this, go to your left, I mean right hand corner, lower corner, and click the choose a backdrop. You can just hover over it and click choose a backdrop. Now what you can do, you can actually choose anything you want. So I'm going to choose a blue sky. Now it changes your backdrop. And now, actually, you have finished your game. Under 2 minutes, I'm mean not 2 minutes, 10 minutes. And now when we click the green flag, it's going to say hello. Click on me to earn a point. And there you have it. Now when I click on it, it's going to change my screen. So guys, if you want more awesome videos like these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the like button and meet you in the next video. And you can also click on one of the videos that pop up on the screen. The one on the left is the next part of the series.